Hi everybody and welcome to Hot Shots TV. I'm Scott Briard. Today we've got a fantastic product as always to talk to you about. Today something I'm a little bit more passionate about. Um, darts, maybe funny to get passionate about it, but again I've been in this since I was a young kid. Parents started playing at home. I was about five years old when we started doing that. Joined the youth leagues when I was about 12 and got into the adult leagues when I was about 14. I don't know but as a parent now about how much of a fan I am about that. But all the way along, there's been a line of darts that were probably the most popular here in Canada. They have a story to them. And like most products and, and decisions you make on purchasing products, the story behind it sort of, you know, sets the choice for, you know, what it is you want and what it is you don't want. Cars, maybe there's a story that your grandfather drove one of these years ago when he was a teenager. So, of course, you want, you know, the Chevy, the Mustang. Uh, items like that and again with parents you know certain items you always have a story of mom maybe have had this certain you know pattern of china dad may have worn this certain you know brand of watch so on and so forth so stories behind products certainly sell them and that's certainly the case here when we're talking about thoroughbred darts back in the late 80s and I've actually found in an old bullseye news if you can imagine uh, and we have lots of these kicking around the store here but back from 1988 I think it's got Frank Ennis on the cover here uh, where are we here? July 19, 1988. I was a whopping 14 years old. But inside is a full page ad on thoroughbred darts. Now we can go way back, talk about, uh, and again, maybe some of this, some of this might be myths or, or actual truth. Um, Jeff Pickup, certainly, uh, at the time I believe he was living in Brampton, invented the thoroughbred retractable point. Did he invent it prior to Walt Bottleson? I don't know, it's a good question. Maybe we'll have to drag him in for an interview and ask him. And maybe some of you out there can comment below on this afterwards and, and sort of fill in the, the puzzle here on, on the whole creation of retractable darts, if you know it. Everybody certainly has their stories. Um, but retractable thoroughbred points and collars, um, I believe, were invented by Jeff Pickup, who lived in Brampton at the time, now lives in London, Ontario. Um, I know there's patents out there that Walt Bottleson created the first retractable dart down in California back in the early 80s. But anyway, we'll open this up for discussion. I'd love to hear what you think about it. But here, again, almost to the original, thoroughbred collar and point. They've never really changed the design. Jeff is still making these points in, in London, Ontario. Allowed the dart, retractable points, allowing the dart to hit a wire, and by retracting, causing more force so it can round past the wire and into the dartboard. So in the late 80s, this was all the excitement. Purchase the darts that allow you retractable points, uh, and allow the dart to not bounce off the dartboard. So reducing bounce outs was certainly the argument back then on why to use these. Now a lot of pros didn't switch over. I remember at an exhibition back in Brampton, probably in 89 or 1990, Jackie Wilson actually threw them and loved them, but we actually never saw him on TV using them. Um, I'm aware that John Parr did use some thoroughbreds, but that by the time he was in 94 and when he was over playing in the World Championships, he was not using retractable points. So whether or not a pro has ever used retractable points, there's another good, you know, open for discussion uh, comment below on YouTube or, or you know send me an email I'd love to talk about it and what some of you do know about it but they were certainly advertised on Bullseye News way back when I didn't see an advertisement in here for Bottleson although it may have been uh, with Rick Nye or Tony Payne or something along those sorts but distributed and manufactured uh, the points here in Canada the darts I believe came from England um, and what we've done at Hot Shots we've resurrected the thoroughbred dart the collars and points that make the dart what they are are still available to us from the original manufacturer, Jeff Pickup, who, who sort of invented it. Um, although we can get in stories about who held the rights to it, Art McKenna, what became PowerPoint, Ed Oliver gets into the picture. We can even bring up John Rogers, founder of the NDFC. I don't know, but everything's open for conversation and discussion below on YouTube. I'd love to talk about it all. What I remember, although I was only a young teenager, and what you may have known from then, because it'd be a great, great story to tell, because it's a great line of darts. They're always available in 80 or 90%. We've brought them back in a 90% dart. We brought them back in three forms. So we have a super grip found in odd weights. We have them in 23, 25, and 27 grams on the website. A real, real sharp grip, Neuralink, good for people who, again, work with their hands all week long and need something sharp to hold on to. And they'll have the thoroughbred collar and point in it. From there, we move on to just a neural dart, long, straight, sort of pencil barrel, and they've got the retractable point on the end of those. Again, those are 22, 24, and 26 grams. Also in 22, 24, and 26 grams, just a simple ring dart. For those that like a smoother dart to throw, they're available 22, 24, and 26. We'll get zoomed in on these maybe at the end or try and put it into the video if we can figure out how to do that. 
but a great set of darts. We go through a lot here because people come in and go, wow, back in the 90s, I shot the This Is Darts. We bought them from Johnny Rogers, founder of the NDFC. You know, he had the original thoroughbreds back then. I actually have my original set that I would have used back in the late 80s. They had a design that was identical to the Black Widow. I threw it because I liked the rings in the back of it. They were white, so it was able to give you a chance to for your index finger and your thumb to actually have something good to hold on to back there. Um, and then I like the smoothest that the sort of the barrel rounded out to. So they were a, a real favorite of mine. There were 25 grams that I used to throw, um, but always been a fan of it. Mom and Dad, one of the first sets of darts I remember them buying uh, were thoroughbreds. Um, and again, I had a set as a kid played through all my youth years and end up into my early 20s uh, using sets of thoroughbreds. So great line, an even better story behind it, where they sold to Harl's PowerPoints and that's how they rounded out. Um, you know, was there court cases involved back when with certain people? I don't know, but I'd love to open it up for discussion. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Anyway, great sets of darts on Hot Shots Canada. Again, the points and collars available. So if you do have some of the original sets out there, the collars and points, we sell them in sets of three. Um, certainly ordered avail again from Hot Shots or here in store. And again, these darts are always here for you to come in and try out. The two boards are set up. We want you to come in, try them out, tell us how you think, and see if you can find the correct weight and the correct sort of barrel design for you. Anyway, comments, questions, again, post below. We're getting lots of emails and it's fantastic. I'm really enjoying doing this. I'm really enjoying all the feedback I'm getting from doing product reviews. It's been a great idea we had. It wasn't my original idea. I got the idea from Gary Vaynerchuk doing this for wines down in New Jersey, um, but we're certainly enjoying it. I'm having a blast doing this. Hopefully we're getting better. We got a better camera. We're gonna start doing some zoom-ins. We're gonna start doing some interviews too. I should have, uh, should have sat down with John Park when he was here a week or two ago for that event. Um, didn't have a chance to though, but we certainly enjoyed ourselves. But we'll certainly be conducting interviews. We've got access to all the great top pool players, dart players, and people in the industry. Again, people like Jeff Pickup, who maybe we'll talk to and find out really how was the thoroughbred created. Anyway, everybody, comments, questions, post below on YouTube. Send me an email if you need to, scott at hotshotscanada.com. Thanks for watching.